making websites great again, even if you suck at designing code. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna redesign our business website with AI using Cursor, ChatGPT. We're probably gonna use Sonnet um, for the code base. And uh, let's get right into it. So as you can see here, we have our website. It's called Hypecart. And um, I don't wanna get into pitching you guys on that, but basically here's our website. Let's just take a look at it. All right. And we're gonna redesign it with Cursor, which is an AI tool that basically does all the development for you, all the code, everything. And it's going to be a next gen project, some technical stuff for those that know. And then we're gonna uh, basically host it on Vercel, which is just gonna make it super easy to push. And then we'll be able to actually launch the website. So um, Hypecard, this is our website. It's got a couple pages. You can see here. What this does is essentially uh, helps you get your um, anonymous traffic on your website. Um, and uh, there it is. So here's first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna copy all the text for the website. Cause we need the text. All right, we're gonna jump right into it. Oh, well, you know what? Let me set the timer. So 10 minute challenge is officially started. So we're gonna copy the text. We're gonna open up notepad. We're just gonna paste it in here. So now we have all the text copied first part second part is we're gonna open up cursor so for those of you that don't know cursor is an AI tool there's lovable bolt I mean all of the other ones check out some other videos on the channel where we go through those different projects we're gonna create a new desktop project called hype so for hype cart and then we're gonna open that folder so we're gonna go desktop AI projects hype Really, really straightforward. This isn't gonna be a full-blown tutorial for Cursor, but there's plenty of videos out there. But I just wanna show you how quickly we can actually make stuff happen. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Composer here, and we're gonna tell the agent, so again, this is an AI agent within Cursor, that we wanna build a next JS project. So this is just a type of project. Think of it like an app in the App Store. So um, let's set up a new next JS project in this folder go ahead and go ahead and set it up for me don't ask just do okay we're gonna talk to them just like we would be talking to an actual developer all right, so there you go. So I'm gonna help you set up a Next.js project in this directory. I'll use the recommended way to create a new Next.js project, create next app, there it is. So we're gonna accept, and now it's gonna go in, and then we're just gonna hit yes to everything. So here's our terminal, and we're just gonna hit yes. What's going on here? Yeah, so run the command. And as you see now, Cursor's actually gone in and created all of our files that we need. Look at that. Basically, we had nothing in here. And now you can see that all of the files have been created. So think of this as like the foundation for your project. And I don't want to get too technical in this video. I just want to show you the power of the AI. All right. So now we're good. So we're basically set up. Oh, no, it's still generating. Okay, success. Okay, so let's see. So now npm run dev is going to basically create a local network for us to be able to view our website. So here it is. So we're just going to click on that and we have our next day project. So this is like the initial step. This is the template. So seven and a half minutes, two and a half minutes gone. All right. So now we are basically good to go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to tell it actually what we want to do. Okay. Now I want to design design a website for my business here is let's start let's start with the home page here is here is all the info for the page and then what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to copy all this text here now that we had before and we're going to paste it in here and we're going to hit submit okay and now the ai is going to basically go in and start creating this website from scratch as you've seen i've literally typed two things into this agent it's going to create a components folder yeah there it is okay so making directory components it's going to basically go in and do everything for us 
And if we go back to the website, you're going to start seeing in real time the agent building this website in real time for us. So now let's look right now. So it may say it's modifying the main page to implement the home page design. You can see page.tsx all on its own. So we should start seeing our website actually popping up here. This is the power of AI. And I'm showing you a very, very kind of raw version of this. If you were doing this for a brand new website, obviously you're going to go in and you're going to create, you know, directories, you're going to create instructions, you're going to do all this stuff. But I want to just skip all that. And I want to just show you how crazy this actually is. Okay. Are you guys looking? Look at this. All right. So we got our initial page. We already got success stories. We got products. We got company. We got demo. So it looks pretty trash, right? But just think about what we accomplished in a very, very quick four minutes. All of the text is here and it's actually functioning as a website. So now this is where the magic happens. Okay. Now this is a really, really good prompt. Okay. So we have our foundation. And now we're going to say, I want you, I want you to make this site look insane, insanely good. Think Spotify, Apple, super clean, modern look and feel with um, animations, um, shadows, all the best current looks for the site. There it is. Okay. So again, I'm just giving it language context. That's how you got to talk to this thing. So here's what it says. I'm going to enhance the design with modern aesthetics, animation and polish. So it's going to install framer motion. So this is another component that's going to allow you to actually have all of those fun animations that you guys are seeing on modern websites. And here we go. And now it's getting to work and it is updating the page. So let's go in here so you guys can see this in real time. We're down to three and a half minutes, but this little prompt that I just did is going to take this boring looking directory trash website and it's going to look insane. So again, this is off the cuff. I don't plan any of these videos. I want to show you guys the power that you can actually achieve with just very, very basic prompts. Okay. Let's update the layout. Okay. So we got some error. We don't have to worry about that because you got to let the agent finish its actual job. All right. So we got three and a half minutes left again, all in real time. No BS. And here we go. So it's got some more errors, but as you can see, it's already fixing. So generating, it's actually going in and fixing all of the issues. This is the difference with using an agent or if you're just using standard commands. So I'm 100% letting the agent do everything, which is go to terminal, which is taking all the commands, taking all the errors. It's basically working with itself and it's fixing itself and it's making sure that everything actually works. So we're just going to accept everything. We got two and a half minutes left. As you can see, it's still generating. This is where you're looking at right here. So it's generating right there. So it's going to create an SVG for the background pattern. It's going to do all kinds of different things to make it look really, really sick. I'm actually pretty excited to see what this is going to look like because I haven't done this. I'm actually just going through and all right, so there it is. So accept it all. We're going to hit refresh. Okay, so now we have an error. So here's a perfect thing. So we got an error. We're just going to go in here and say fix this, fix this error. Just paste it in there. Talk to it like a worker. So the error is because of frame or motion. Run the command. Really, really straightforward. Now it's creating the animation for the hero page. Yeah, it's really, really fun to work with these agents. Accept. Let's fix the error. And you're just essentially having a conversation. So we got a minute and a half left. I'm hoping we can get it in under 10 minutes. 
And like I mentioned, we're doing this super raw. I just want to show you the power of it in 10 minutes. But when you actually are building out your own project, you definitely want to get a little more organized. But that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to show you what you can actually accomplish. And then you can get your creativity flowing. You could actually make a game plan. Look at other websites that you really like and tell Cursor, hey, this is what I really like. Make me something that looks like this. Okay, so it's updating the main page. Let's see what we're going to get here. So we got 40 seconds. So we're definitely getting to crunch time here. I don't know if we're going to make it in under 10 minutes, but I have my hopes. Okay, there it is. Okay, we're starting to get, we're starting to get something. We got some animations. I think it's creating some backgrounds. 26 seconds. All right, let's see what happens here. We'll do a countdown. So this is the one thing with cursor is you just have to wait for the agent to actually do the work. But imagine you actually had to go in and actually do this by yourself. Like it's a pretty crazy process. And for somebody like myself who doesn't know, okay, perfect. I fixed the errors. Let's accept all and let's go to our website and check this out guys. What the hell is that noise? Oh, that's our timer. So our timer is officially done. So let's stop it and check out this website. So look at this, we got animations. We got different animations here. Did you guys see that bottom animation right there? Look at that, right? So let's do one more prompt. I just wanna show you the power of this. Okay, I love what you did, what you did, but now make it a black theme and add much more text from much more uh, text from the website, from the website. So we didn't make our 10 minutes for the final website, but again, look how far we got. So right now we have a functioning website with animations, with text, it's got all the buttons, it's created all the pages, it's created all the actual things that we need in 10 minutes. But now let's give it one more prompt because I want to show you how quickly this thing can go from looking decent to actually looking like a website that you want to host on your own, on your own server. Okay, here we go. So this is going to be extra few minutes. We're running at 12 minutes right now. Okay, here we go. It's got some errors. So it's looking for some components. It's going to fix everything. Yeah, the hardest part with this, especially when you're making videos is just waiting for the AI. But I think this is a, a pretty um, small problem because it everything does for you. So we got the animated testimonials. And the cool thing about it is if you're learning code, if you already know code, you can actually go through and see what it's doing exactly, right? For me, it doesn't matter because I just want the end result. I'm not a developer. I don't understand how any of this works. But as I've been using Cursor much more, I've realized, oh, okay, I can actually see what it's doing and what it's calling and what are the different components that are necessary to make a website look really, really good. So here we go. We still got some errors, but you can see in the background, we got some, some black theme coming in, which is what we asked. It's creating FAQ section. Okay. So we got the hero component with the dark theme, which is what we wanted, right? We wanted this to have a dark theme. Yep. All right. We're getting there. We are getting there. So video is a little longer than I promise. So technically challenge failed, but it doesn't matter. I think you guys get the point. So let's give it a few more seconds. We're going to accept it all. And then we're going to have a final review all right there it is so generating the final bits and now let's go accept all and here is the final result check this out how insane is that look at this it's got all the animations for the testimonials it's brought in all the testimonials it's got everything is really nice looking. Look at this black theme. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys are interested actually in Hypecart, you know, I don't want to try to be promoting our products and stuff, but it is an actual pretty amazing tool. You guys could just find the link in the bio. You guys could book a call with us. What we actually do is we have a very, very advanced pixel data that we could then take and you could use to get way, way cheaper cost in ads, way better conversions on your emails and so on and so on. I don't want to bore you with the business stuff, but you could just check out actually the website for yourself it's hypecard.io and uh the whole goal is we created this to make you guys more money and uh, and we're using ai to do a lot of it so definitely come in take a look it's going to take your retargeting to a new level and um, it has all kinds of amazing features when it comes to data so you guys could check it out on uh, hypecard.io all right thanks for the video we'll talk to you guys soon peace